Monster Hunter. It's a good game. Click in this video, you must be interested in Monster Hunter. Or you're a friend of mine who watches my videos. Either way, it's one of my favorite game franchises. From action-packed gameplay to stellar designs. This video may be more geared towards those who have never played before, but it's also for those who have tried and couldn't stick with it. I completely get it. I had a hard time getting into the games as well. It's a big reason why I wanted to make this video. Before we start, I want to preface that these are my personal takes and experiences. So if you want a straight answer, then yes. You should play Monster Hunter now! Alright, so those of you who are still here, let's get into the video. And not into how this is only my third video and I've managed to neglect my YouTube like a bad father. Let's start with the idea. And by that, imagine a prehistoric world similar to ours, full of undiscovered lands, full of interesting endemic life, and creatures big enough to tower over villages, waiting to be explored. A world where mere humans can stand up to the likes of ferocious beasts with powerful armaments and techniques. People creating a guild composed of strong hunters from far and wide with an appetite to fight. This is a small look at what Monster Hunter is. Its world is so unique and expansive. Many people skip over the game's lore and come for just the gameplay, which is fine in its own right, but to dismiss this would be a disservice to yourself. Don't get this confused with the main stories for the games. They're usually forgettable due to mediocre writing, but immersing yourself into this game's world makes it even more enjoyable. Like how many of the weapons use parts from monsters to strengthen them, or how you can capture monsters for the guild researchers to learn more about them. This translates to the game's mechanics as your field guide about monsters gets filled with more info on their weaknesses and materials they have. The lore combined with the actual game mechanics and systems just blend together so well. I still remember what really got me into the games. It was Polaris' YouTube series Hunting Monsters by Game Grumps back in 2013. The idea of hunting giant monsters with badass weapons with your friends was so cool to me. I loved watching as everyone prepared in their own ways crafting their personal weapons and armor for the big hunt. And to see them all come together as a group to team up against the monster was simply spectacular. You might be thinking, hmm, this game sounds like it would be fun to play, but is it fun to play? Whoa, who said that? Cause I was just about to mention game. The gameplay. It's the meat of the bones. The, the game bones. It's the one reason you'll want to keep playing. The Monster Hunter dev team at Capcom are literal geniuses at their craft, and thankfully they've had the opportunity to continuously work at it. So currently there are 14 staple weapons, and they are the Great Sword, Long Sword, Sword and Shield, Dual Blades, Hammer, Hunting Horn, Lance, Unlance, Switch Axe, Charge Blade, Insect Glaive, Light Bow Gun, Heavy Bow Gun, and the Bow. And some games even have unique weapons just for that game specifically. Each weapon plays distinctly different from one another and have their own levels of difficulty to play. I've played and enjoyed all of them, but these are some of my personal favorites. The Greatsword is your big anime protagonist blade that's slow but deals huge damage. The Longsword is every weed's dream, using a giant katana for wide slashes to precise slices. Now I'm a little motivated. The hammer is surprisingly quick, allowing you to get some good head bonks on monsters. Oh, also it's a sonic. The hunting horn is a musical device that is great at giving you and your team buffs just as well as it is at knocking baddies out. The light bow gun and heavy bow gun both require you to come prepared with crafting items to make more ammo mid fight but have amazing overall damage and DPS. They may seem similar but actually play far from one another. With the light bow gun you are faster and agile letting you move quicker while shooting and dodging around. 
As for the heavy bow gun, you're essentially a walking cannon, dealing big shots, making sure your positioning is just right. These are just brief explanations of some of the weapons. Once you've chosen a weapon, you'll make an upgrade them as you play. They'll have all sorts of different elements and ailments to them. And the same can be said with the armor. They have different resistances you'll want to use for different monsters, or these specific buffs called armor skills that can boost your playstyles mixing and matching sets. On top of that, the designs for armor pieces look fantastic, resembling the monsters they're based off of. We should talk about the multiplayer because it might be the only reason why you're considering playing. It's definitely improved over time with each iteration getting quality of life changes to make the experience smoother. But I bring up the multiplayer because it adds a whole nother layer of depth to the gameplay. An example could be you and a friend are on a hunt together, you using a longsword and them a hammer. With the hammer's moveset, they can launch you into the air and you can do a mid-air attack hitting a higher spot of the monster. It's these opportunities in the game's mechanics that open up this array of possibilities and potential for synergy. combat mechanics are just one half of the pie. Let's get into the monsters now, because if we didn't have them, it would just be a game called Hunter. So, yeah. The monsters are created with such love and care from how they look to how they act. With how unique they are, taking on each monster is a joy to learn all of their attack patterns and quirks. Oh, and the AI is pretty good too. The monster's next actions will sometimes be determined by what the player is doing or where they are positioned. So if you're wailing on its legs, it'll do a stompy attack. Or in multiplayer, the monster will focus and chase a player that's trying to run further away from combat to heal. How about we take a look at one of the monsters, the Rathalos. It's a flying wyvern monster, the flagship monster for the franchise. It predominantly flies in the air, breathing fire towards hunters and slashing at it with its claws or tail from above. Unique to the Rathalos, its talons have poison that affect hunters. Okay, check this out, all right? Cool lore that's also a gameplay tip is that the Rathalos' female counterpart, the Rathian, fights more on the ground and its poison is stored in its tail, hence why it tries to use more tail attacks and Rathalos prefers to swing down at hunters with its claws. Like, what the hell? That's so fucking rad! And there's nearly over 200 unique monsters spanning over the entire series? God, I love this franchise. And don't think you can take these monsters down without proper preparation. You'll be going out into the world scavenging and foraging materials you can use to craft items helpful for your next big hunt, like finding herbs to make potions, and then collecting honey to mix with your potions to turn them into mega potions, which will heal you for more. And you can't forget about getting a proper meal in before going out on a hunt from one of the many village chefs. They use all sorts of ingredients that you'll collect for them to make extraordinary dishes to give all sorts of buffs and stat increases. If that doesn't get you to want to eat these meals, just look at how cute these animations are.
召し上がれ If you think you'll be going alone on these hunts, don't worry, you'll have your trusty hunting buddies with you. The buddies also differ from game to game. The main ones are the palicos. They are cat-like companions that work alongside hunters, aiding them in battle. Eh, hey, hey yo, y'all hear that? No, but in all seriousness, the music in the games are phenomenal to listen to. They do a great job complementing what's going on in the game. You've got songs from your head-on skirmishes with a monster, And some of these guys have their own themes indicating to the player what monster it is. Epic scores for climatic battles with divine creatures. Warm, comfy tunes for downtimes in between hunts. I can confirm these jams jam. There's honestly never been a greater time to join the series than now. Ever since Monster Hunter World, the series has been a huge success worldwide. Oh, you suck. A big red flag for newcomers I see is when someone says there's a grind to the games. The newer games are much more forgiving on how much materials it costs to make weapons and armor, and they have new ways to help players get more materials too. And for me, I enjoy the core of the game, so what is considered grinding to some is just playing the game to me, period. There has also been a lot of debate and first glances at the concept of Monster Hunter. The games never advocate on hunters to kill to just kill. It's more about humans trying to survive in the food chain of this world or taking down a looming threat to the ecosystem. All of the elements I've mentioned combined create a strong core for the games, and it's what you'll spend most of your time doing. As someone who's poured countless hours into these games, I can solidly say it's worth your time. It's amazing to see how far you've come since first playing. You really grow alongside of your hunter. Honestly, there's plenty more cool things I could go on about as to why these games kick ass, but I think it would be more enjoyable for you to play these games and experience what all they have to offer. And remember, happy hunting! Yo, thanks for listening to me spout about Monster Hunter for a hot minute. I hope that after everything I've said, this video has sparked some sort of interest in you to give one of the games a try. 
So I'm going to make an effort to work on a next video, hopefully. I don't know what it's going to be right now, but future me uploading this might know. Well, till then, I'll catch you later.